Long known for its role in the prevention of childhood rickets and in the intestinal absorption of dietary calcium, vitamin D has now been found to be important in protecting the body from a wide range of, disease, of diseases. Disorders linked with vitamin D deficiency include stroke, cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis and osteomalacia, several forms of cancer, some autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and type 1 diabetes, and even type 2 diabetes, depression, and schizophrenia as well. One of the best things one can do to prevent and treat the flu is to maintain vitamin D levels within a range of 50 to 70 nanograms per milliliter. And research indicates that vitamin D plays an important role in mediating the immune response. A major culprit of vitamin D deficiency is inadequate sun exposure. Vitamin D deficiency is especially problematic for people who spend much of their time indoors or who live in colder climates and northern latitudes. Some demographics that are more likely to have lower levels of vitamin D are the elderly, breastfed infants, children, and people with limited sunlight exposure. Some people require much longer sunlight exposure to generate enough vitamin D. Deficiency may be present even when there are no symptoms, so it's important to test for vitamin D. In fact, vitamin D screening has been recommended as a routine part of the annual physical exam. ZRT's vitamin D test is a convenient and simple blood spot test that you can perform at home with no need for a phlebotomist or a doctor's visit. Appropriate lifestyle change, such as spending time outdoors to increase sunlight exposure, might not be sufficient to generate enough uh, vitamin D, particularly in the winter months. Taking vitamin D supplements daily is recommended. The bottom line, know your vitamin D levels. If low, supplement with vitamin D3 to get your levels between 50 and 70 nanograms per milliliter.